Geeks, hey everybody, welcome! My name is Kurt, aka Divitruvian Gamer, and today we are doing part 6 already of my playthrough of Warhammer Quest, the adventure card game by Fantasy Flight Games. Alright, so let's get into this shizzle. I know it's been a while since I've done the last part, and uh, that's because, well, I had a busy life lately and I'm really sorry about that. I really, really wanted to do this video earlier, especially since I've made some, uh, well, one, one important mistake and that's what I'm going to set straight right away. Well, as good as I can in this uh, situation, of course. So, where are we? Well, we are here in the an easy alliance quest one of foul stench we have this creature in the shadows but that one should not be there because what did i forget i forgot uh well an important thing so last round uh, the bright wizard he got attacked by odious grump and then I said, well, there's no more enemies here, so it is done and over with this uh, enemy phase. But that's not exactly true, because we had a creature in the shadows. Now, I think I forgot this a few times already in this playthrough, and again, my apologies for that. Uh, but this one, I will set this one straight. So what happens here is this one activates as well, so we just turn around, we see what it is. It's a giant bat who engages with the warrior priest. He will retreat and then he will inflict. So he went back to the shadows and did one damage to the warrior priest. So let's give him that point of damage. Okay, so that's the only thing that went wrong that I know. <laughs> Probably more things, but that's an important one. So we now have the giant bat. Uh, that we see there. We have Odious Grum still here. We have one more wound for the Warrior Priest and we have the first player marker for the Warrior Priest as well now. And that means we go to, well, round six. And uh, in round six we have, the, of course, the hero phase first in which our heroes will try to deal with those two uh, enemies still there. Now, we do know that Odious Grump will heal again in a few rounds. And, well, that's not too bad, I think. Um, yeah. So, we better try to kill him before that. No? Yeah, I think we do. There are not that much creatures anymore at this uh, moment in time. So I think, let's see what he's going to do. What is the warrior priest going to do? I think he is going to, well, I, I wanted to do some aiding first, but I don't want the bright wizard to get attacked by Odin's Grump when he does an action uh, before everything triggers here. So I will do the righteous fury. That means I can engage one enemy and, uh, all right, so, we just engage Odious Grump, we pull, pull him to our place and then we have, before this action you may exhaust another action to target one additional enemy and apply one. Now target the enemy is not the same as engaging so I'm not going to do that sadly enough. I really wanted to get that shine bat here as well but yeah. I want to keep Odious Grump away from the Bright Wizard for now. So, that means we roll two white dice and one black die because of Odious. And uh, I repositioned the camera for the dice tower now, so it should be a little bit better. Yeah, it should be a little bit more clear. So we don't have an attack of Odious, nice, which is awesome of course. We do have a few hits, not too many, but well, it's better than nothing. So we have two hits, one defense, but no attack against us. So we deal two wounds, no, well, two odious grump. And sadly enough, he has one, let's do this like this. He has one defense, so he only gets one wound. And that's the first action for the warrior priest over to the bright wizard who sadly enough has less options. Uh, he has two 
exhausted actions but in his empowered so the action that we'll choose now is going to have more of a success so oh man i think i was thinking about exploring but now i'm still considering doing something else maybe i should just get obvious grump back here and uh an attack with three dice well two dice and one more success but might be dangerous of course mm. I think I'm going to do oh man yeah I'm just going to attack the giant bat uh, so I'm going to <coughs> use fireball so he can engage one enemy he takes the giant bat in front of her I keep saying he because I get keep focusing on this card but it's a she it's a woman as you can see beneath her wounds she, she's so wounded you can't even see if she's a man or a woman okay so now we have a ranged attack and she has ranged so doesn't that mean I could just keep the bat in the shadows where it is right over there and just shoot from here I think I can. I could even shoot Odious Grump, but I think I'm going to shoot the giant bat, get rid of that one. Uh, oh no, but he cannot. Oh man, I almost make a mis made a mistake. By the way, uh, put in the comments if I'm doing this range attack right. So if this wasn't the deal, though while in shadows this enemy cannot suffer wounds, if this wasn't here, could I just attack my this creature with my range attack without having to roll a black die? That's what I think it means. So. Tell me if I'm right or wrong in the sh in the comments, please. Okay, so I cannot target this one here, so, but, so I I will engage it. And I keep finding that word engaging so funny because it's like they're going to get married in the future or something. Oh, we're engaged now. Oh, congratulations. Okay, so a fireball, ranged attack, two black dice. We are empowered, so we do not have to exhaust the... The fireball awesome and we get one more success so let's put that here to as a reminder and let's roll them dice so we have two white dice from the, because of the fireball one black die for the giant bat and let's see awesome 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 okay so we have at least one attack against us but we also have at least one defense, which is awesome. We have one success that gives us already a success token and a reroll. And that gives us another success. Great job. Good enough for this small leash giant bat. It's, it's not that cool or hard. It's, it's a small bat who feels big but he's not okay so the bat attacks us with one damage we defend with one shield and we do one two three four <laughs> wounds to this baddie so it goes away to the discard pile and we have successfully defeated this one the fireball is still there for being used because we did not have to Exhausted because of the empowered card here, which gets removed now. So back to the warrior priest, who of course is still engaged with Odious Grump, and I think he can't do anything about him for now. So I'm considering. I might as well. Oh, should I take my time with him and just. Because of the underground river, there that one gets one. That gets one progress token at the end. Well, in the location phase, so we might as well do nothing for exploring and wait this turn and the next turn, and then it will be gone without. Uh, well, automatically we are forced to travel then. But in that time, we can still do some damage to Odious Grump while we are still. A little bit safe although that 
Hmm. Brings him one closer to the next peril. Oh, but now we don't have to focus on another creature, of course. I think I'm going to try and get rid of Odious Grump a little bit more. So I'm going to use... I'm going to aid. I'm going to aid. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So that means we have one success already. And we get to roll two dice. We're going to aid the Bright Wizard, of course. We're going to roll two white dice and one black die because of Odious. And let's hope we get some nice results. Odious will attack. Crap, he's going to attack us, of course. Ah, that's too bad. Okay, so he is going to attack for two more wounds. We're at 12 wounds again. And then the target hero, well, we have one, two, three successes. So let's put those on. I think I will put two on the fireball so he can, well, she can do a big attack again. And one on, oh, on the eight card, I think. And then, dun, 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 we, you and the target, oh, the target hero can ready one action and she is going to ready her rest action. So that means she can rest if she wants to. And then you and the target hero each recover one wound. Awesome. Let's heal one wound. Okay. Awesome sauce and back to the Bright Wizard for the last hero action. And well, we just going to play aggressively. Um, I think, well, she has 11 wounds. The other one has 11 wounds. What happens if they both have equal amount of wounds? Hmm. Now she's not going to use her fireball. We want to, we want Odious Grump to be where he is at this moment. I think, to stay there. And maybe do some resting. Yeah, I'm going to rest with her. So resting, she can exhaust one non-nemesis enemy engaged with her. Well, she hasn't got anyone. So then she will rest, she has one success token and she can roll two white dice. And well that means two white only because no black are needed. Uh, now we roll a shield of course. But that means we have two successes here. And uh, yeah, that means three wounds healed. So we are looking a little bit better. And that's it for this phase. Now we go to the enemy phase. In which Odious Grump will inflict two damage to our warrior priest. That brings him to 13 damage. Then he's going to pray and this time he stays here at the warrior priest place because now he is the one with the most wounds. Then we go to the location phase. Which of course is very easy, very simple, because, well, at the start of the location phase we add one progress token to this location. That means we just have a third progress token here. And still no force travel, we need one more. So we have one round to get some more damage on Olius Grump before we travel to the next location. But first, the peril phase. Which this time is a very simple one. We just move our token here one space further. And uh, well, nothing happens there now. So we can go already to the next round. And uh, I will film this immediately. So I know I asked some questions about things I done or I would have done uh, about the rules, but you still can answer me here. I cannot react on them in the next video because I am keep filming. So uh, I will see you in the next part. Thank you for watching this one. I think we are doing okay.
Uh, I'm not sure how much my mistakes have um, cheated the system and made things easier. I'm not sure how hard well, the next two locations will get. So uh, this might still bite me in the uh, behind, as they can say. Uh, and so, uh, well, people told me this is a hard game to beat, so let's see if we can do so. Of course, it's, uh, it hasn't been all too fair at all time, but let's try to do this correct now. So thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below, like this video, share this video. Let's get some more people here on the channel. Always good to see more uh, new people here and uh, meet me on Twitter. I'm at Vitruvian Gamer over there and I'll see you all next time for the next part of Warhammer Quest, the adventure card game. Bye bye.